Hi everyone, John Hansconnect here, Saturday, November 4th, 2017. I promised the guys on American Paramotor that I would uh, just uh, give an overview of my new uh, radio harness and um, the modifications that I did to it. Uh, this is a, I'll go ahead and stand up, this is a Luong, L-E-W-O-N-G, I think it's called, let me double check. L-E-W-O-N-G, Luong Universal Chest Harness uh, for radios. It costs $23 on eBay. Um, it normally comes with a radio holder here and a radio holder on the other side. I've taken off the radio holder on the right hand side and I've put a hook knife uh, thing in here. Because I'm going to be flying over water eventually, I want a hook knife along with my flotation system. Uh, these can be had for $30 from a paragliding place, but I got this for $5 because I ordered it from AliExpress as one of those emergency hammers, um, and I cut off the hammer. But this is uh, called a life hammer. It's, it's for people that are afraid of driving over bridges and think that when they go in the water, they're going to have to cut their seat belt and uh, smash the window to get out of their car. Anyway, they're five bucks. You cut off the hammer. Um, and it's a good hook knife for, for if you get into a water emergency and you need to cut away your straps or your risers or anything. I've got the radio here. It is dressed out with the, all the wiring is leaving the radio. It's actually going behind and there's a pocket inside. And the only thing that comes up is right hand side. My push to talk I like to have right at my clavicle because it's right within the range of where I would normally hold my my brakes um, and I can just reach in and press the push to talk and I know that it's right there on my clavicle. Here's the connector to my helmet right above it um, and there's a reason I went radio on this side and then connection to the helmet on this side and my reasoning is on my helmet this is a this is also a home build the skate helmet made by Bell. I have a uh, BT-S2 Bluetooth system on this helmet and so the microphone is here. Uh, I want the transmission from this antenna to be as far away from my Bluetooth system as possible. Um, also I just finished this last night. This is on my helmet. It's just a switch that lets me switch the microphone between Bluetooth system and my radio system. And I just double up on the earpieces inside. So I've got one for Bluetooth for music and telephone and the other one is uh, from my radio. So what else have I done? Well, it came, like I said, with the radio and another radio on the other side, so now it's a hook knife. I, uh, it had a pocket already for a phone, so that's convenient. But what I added to it is I have a Kobo flight computer right here, and so now I can have one hand on my throttle, and with one hand I can come up and, and pull that and drop my flight computer. So what it is, is it's hanging right within view, and anyone who's maybe you haven't heard about them or not but um, this is an e-ink display so it's always it's always visible in the brightest sunlight and there's a program called XC SOAR that uh, you can load on the Kobo and you can get a blue fly vario GPS so it works as a variometer and uh, GPS anyway you can have all your um, waypoints and, and uh, you know all the information associated with uh, different airspaces loaded on this flight computer and uh, so it's nice when it's folded up I can run with it for launching uh, I can easily fold it up again and, and throw that 
throw that Velcro up for landing. Or I can even land with it open. I mean, it's, it's not going anywhere. It's Velcroed to this flat. So that's one of the good things about knowing how to sew is I could make this extra flat for my flight computer. Um, what else do I want to say? Oh, I shouldn't have to warn people about this, but if you do get a, um, a Bofong radio or something and it's putting out 8 watts and you're going to be transmitting out this antenna, uh, think about that if you have a pacemaker, because that is 8 watts of power transmitting right next to a pacemaker. Anyway, that's about all I had to say. Hope you like it, and I'll see you later. Bye.